we might find ourselves um, in a situation of experiencing depression and asking, where's God in the midst of this kind of darkness? Within um, the Bible, we actually see depression experienced and described by people who knew God. The prophet Elijah went through a very extreme depression and ultimately God met him in that darkness. Um, so depression is not a verdict about you that God doesn't love you. It's a consequence of, of living in this world in which now there is a fundamental disconnect that has entered the world. Christians call it the fall. It's a result of us having the capacity to love in all this good world, but using our capacity to make decisions for ill as well as for good. Now, that doesn't mean that you know, I've caused my own depression by a specific decision. Um, the Bible talks about a particular moment in history called the fall. There's a description of a man and a woman in a garden where our human decisions cause a fundamental alienation between us and God, between us and each other, and between us and the environment, the sort of physical world that we live in. So if we ask ourselves, where is God? He's here, he's real, he cares, he sees you. He doesn't deny the reality of the depression, the suffering you're existing. He wants to meet you in it. Medical advances and the possibility of, of receiving treatment for depression, just like you might for a broken arm, are all there and are all good. But there is also a loving God who actually exists, who has a purpose for your life who cares about what you're going through and he wants to invite you into relationship with him. And an experience of depression cannot block you from that. It does not disqualify you from that. There is hope. There is a purpose and a future for you if you're open to that and if you want to come to know God for yourself.